Okay, so uh, we'll show the upcoming Vibrato analysis feature and this is a work in progress and also a prototype. So it's already usable a little bit in a way and you can see where it's going, but you have to know what you're doing. So this is a file that I've loaded. It's a uh, short clip of somebody singing a note and there we have the spectrogram. So you can adjust this with these sliders. And then we have the fundamental pitch, which is this blue line here. And then we have the pitch of the vibrato times 100, which is this green line. And so you can see that the pitch is correct by seeing that it matches the fundamental. This may or may not be the case if somebody is singing a very strong um, harmonic, then the pitch might be there. But in this case, the pitch is fine. Now the uh, vibrato pitch is the pitch of the pitch. So um, it measures how much this fluctuates and it's measured for about half a second. So when you have the green line there, then what we are really saying is the pitch at the center of this is the average for this time period. And this actually uses the screen records of the pitch. So it is very sensitive to the zoom level at this point. This will be fixed later. But for now, you have to zoom in and out a little bit, and then you can see that there are octave errors here. So to see this value here, this is the analysis view. If you don't see this, click on view and then uh, analysis. And then it will only show the vibrato here. So this is not wired up. It will always show vibrato. So when you just put the cursor somewhere, then it will show you the numerical value of the green line. So here in the view, it's, for example, here it says at 6.4 seconds, the vibrato pitch is 4.47 Hertz. And this corresponds to the green line. And on the frequency scale, this is multiplied by 100. So if it's 4.7, then here it would be shown as 470. And if you are in linear view, then it will be down here somewhere. So you can still read it there. And now, as I said, the pitch algorithm at this stage doesn't always get the octave right. So here it shows it as 2.28, but in reality we know that this is probably wrong. So you have to kind of zoom in and out a little bit to see what you find plausible. And then to further check your result, you can also do this. Um, set your cursor somewhere, click on edit, set selection, and then make a selection for one second. So just type one second here. Now we have exactly one second. And for this, you can count the number of cycles. So zoom in the frequency a little bit to make this easier to see. And so we can see here, that's one, two, three, four. Um, so over this time period, it's kind of four cycles per second. And if we put the cursor here somewhere, now if you control click, it will reset the selection. So at the center of what we had, it's 3.6. And then here it starts at four and a half. So it's around four. And now here it gets lower because there it gets a little bit confused. So put it in the center of where the value sounds plausible and then it gives you the exact value here. So you can either do just the start at the peak of a cycle, select one second and then count the cycles as I just did, or use the numerical reading, but be cautious that this might be in the wrong octave or might just be incorrect. Also, because this is taking over half a second, if you put it right at the edge here, it won't give you a usable result. So it should always be in the center of a sustained note. And then you can be somewhat more confident than that the reading makes sense. So let's look at a few more Oh, yes. And when you do make a selection here, so to make a selection, you press the control key and then drag the mouse or you put the cursor somewhere and then go to edit set selection. You can also press S to bring up this uh, dialog and then for vibrato measurement using one second makes it easy to count the number of cycles just to verify that the result is wrong. So here the value is a bit screwed up, so we don't really want to use that. So let's start a bit earlier where the selection 
where the green line seems somewhat plausible. And then so for this range, we can see it's about four. And then this is approximately plausible. Here for this part, as I said, the vibrato is also not very regular, so it does really change that much. And the pitch analysis shows you this. So calling this very regular would be inaccurate anyway. Yeah, this is a bit more regular, but it gets the octave wrong. So if you zoom in a little bit here, this seems about right. So it's around four and a half. And then if you want to know the range for this entire note, you can see she goes from 559 to 595 hertz. And this is a range of 100 cent. Now looking at your next sample, the 11 year old. Again here, this is a bit where we, the vibrato is pretty regular. So around here, it's around four. To double check that again, selection of one second. And now we can check. So that's that's the peak. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And so in the center of this, it's around five. So you can see it's not, um, it's still a little bit tricky to use at this point because you have to zoom in and out and this will be fixed, but you can see approximately where the vibrato is. So pick a value that's plausible over a section that actually has a consistent vibrato. And then you can read its numerical value here. So again here, so this one is a little bit higher than the previous one. So here we had one that was just um, slightly under four, just around four. Now the 11 year old is more like between four and five. And you can also see the consistency, of course. Now here, there isn't really much vibrato anyway in this section or at least if there is, well, as you can see, it's pretty irregular. There will be a section for irregular. This one is the actual vibrato here. And if you get lost, go back to your standard time range of 10 seconds. And um, let's zoom back the uh, frequency range. Now this vibrato is pretty flat. So she actually drops in pitch. That's why we get a large range here. If you just look at a short time period, there's only a 35 cent variation. So she doesn't actually do very much with this. Um, now that's a much stronger vibrato. It's around five hertz, getting a bit faster here. And then here it's around 5.4. And again, you can see the range here, 60 hertz. And this one also 64, that's pretty consistent. Let's look at a different singer. So here we have a singer that has a pretty strong and comp consistent vibrato, that's a male. And his is slightly faster than five. So you can see here it's between 500 and 600. Then here the pitch changes and this messes up the vibrato because here there isn't much. And then it here around 
it's around five again in here also. So you always want to go for the center of a sustained node and then um, again check the reading for plausibility and zoom in and out a little bit to make sure that what you're reading off here makes sense. So this one says exactly pretty much five hertz. So let's check that again, putting the cursor here, pressing S, having one second, and then we have one, two, three, four, five cycles and a bit. So I would say calling this five, a little bit more than five here, that, that seems to be consistent with what we're reading here. So that's how you use this prototype of the Vibrato feature. Um, I hope it's useful and bear in mind it's a work in progress. It's the dependency on the zoom level will be fixed, of course, but this is just the initial stage to see if analyzing the pitch of the pitch works to give you a vibrato reading. And you can see that it still needs some tweaking, but for example, out here, if there actually is a smooth, consistent vibrato, then the pitch of the vibrato will be pretty smooth. If it's a singer where the vibrato is not quite as strong or as consistent, like then the algorithm has a bit of a harder time and you have to be, so you can increase the zoom here but as this is pretty irregular anyway, the pitch will fluctuate all over the place. And that's why the line here is not as smooth. Um, there will be also later a measure of this amount of irregularity in the vibrato, but that's not in there yet.